In Crossville, Tennessee, God has his very own treehouse. God told Noah to build an ark. He told Horace Burgess to build a treehouse. God's treehouse. In 1993, minister Horace Burgess heard the word of God. And God said to him, if you build a treehouse, you will never run out of materials. Which is kind of a, like a pretty minimal promise. But Horace started building piece by piece out of scrap wood and leftover building materials. It's supported by six different trees, mainly supported by one giant white oak. It's 97 feet tall, or a better way to put that is 10 stories tall. It took over 285,000 nails. When you walk into it, you have no idea where you're gonna end up. This treehouse includes secret hallways, some hidden rooms, spiral staircases, at the heart of this is the sanctuary, slash basketball court, slash dance floor, slash whatever else you need it to be. And when you get to the top and you look down at the fields below, you will see the word Jesus written out in flowers planted by Burgess. Because as Burgess himself says, from up there, the view is heavenly. So he spent the last 14 years crafting this incredible treehouse. But sadly, well, God doesn't have a fire code, Crossville, Tennessee does. In 2012, the minister's treehouse, the greatest treehouse ever built, was closed down. You can, in fact, call the Crossville, Tennessee fire marshal and politely ask them that they reopen the treehouse. And in Horace Burgess's own words, it's not for him, it's for everybody and God keeps watch. The treehouse also inspires its visitors. One such visitor was so taken that he went and created stained glass windows, which were then installed into the treehouse as well. The bells of the treehouse are a set of empty acetylene gas tanks that have been strung up by rope and when pulled, chime together in a kind of lo-fi DIY heavenly harmony.